Max Forte again to bring you another video. This time it's an informative video. It's a uh, Creed 101 slash the evolution of Aventus. I spent a couple hours at the Creed Boutique uh, last week and this is a video that I've been getting a lot of requests for over the past six months or so so I figured you know let me do this for you guys. So I spent a good amount of time with Louis Cavallo. He's basically a walking encyclopedia of Creed. He's very knowledgeable, uh, very nice, and so is Rodney and Emerson. But Louis Cavallo is just, you know, he knows everything, the ins and outs. Um, he knows a lot of um, information about Creed that it's uh, only passed on for the people that work for Creed. But he was kind enough to help us and give us some tips and um, flags and what to look for when buying Creed fragrances and things to look for to not buy Creed fragrances for that matter. And also he gave us the evolution of Creed Aventus from 2010 when it was released up until right now. So stay tuned guys, this is going to be a very very fun video that I did at the Creed Boutique last week. Um, and I think you guys are going to enjoy. So stay tuned, grab some popcorn, I think it's like a half hour long, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Sports at the Creed Boutique with the man himself, uh, Louis Cavallo. He's a walk-in encyclopedia of Creed. If you want to you know, answer you guys uh, questions, have been coming through the site, through the YouTube channel. So uh, take it away, Louis. Wow. Max, welcome aboard, man. Great to be here. See ya. Walking encyclopedia of Creed. That's, know. that's huge. You put me on the spot. That you are. You have all the knowledge and the elements here on, on this brand. So well, I mean, we, you know, we definitely go through like a, you know a pretty intensive training to work at Creed. Absolutely. You know, myself and Rodney and Emerson and and actually you know everybody that works for the Creed Network, whether you're in Marcus and Nordstroms or Saks, you know you're gonna get um, extensive training. Ex ex yeah, yeah you, you have to get extensive training. You know, but not not just Creed because you know to understand Creed, you kind of have to understand some of the other brands sure. and also the going trend. You know, Absolutely. and so you know, then then therefore you become you know Creed professional. Right. You know, so yeah, so thank you. Um, so here we are, and today we'll talk about um, a couple fragrances which I, I know. Yeah, Creed collection. I think people know these uh, now. Uh, Green Irish Tweed, uh, which came out uh, 1985, which you know, it's 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 been uh, the fragrance that really um, it, it made a worldwide splash. And definitely uh, put the name in America for Creed. Absolutely. I mean, that became in, an amazing, amazing scent. And then, of course, Aventus. Absolutely. Aventus, I think it's uh, it's modern perfumery at its best. Absolutely. And it's you know it, it really um, it catches a big demographic of people. You have young guys. You have a little bit older guys. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just so funny because I see so such a different like um, array. People, yeah. yeah, absolutely. People coming in shorts and suits and carrying guitars. Yeah. And you, you get like this this whole. Um, Corporate guys, women. Yeah, I, that, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So yeah, women. You guys are wearing Aventus. You know, I kind of do, and I kind of don't like it. You know, I kind of don't like it because you know I, I want to wear it all the time. Yeah, well, I wear it all the time. You know, but then it's kind of sexy when a girl wears a men's fragrance. So, and, and, but then at the end of the day, you know, I think everybody carries a fragrance a little different. Correct. So. So yeah, so um, today, Max, you know, I, I want to like talk a little bit about the evolution of Aventus packaging. Sure. Absolutely. Because um, we were getting a lot of calls, and I'm sure you can get a lot of questions. On the YouTube channel, by yeah. you guys. I did a little video about this, but I wanted to have this take on it. So let us know what you think about the evolution, the atomizers, the bottles. Yeah. So you know, um, I th I think initially the first thing that people notice is that when we first launched Aventus. I said Creed here in silver. silver. Yeah. So you know that that was uh, that was the first um, change. The, yeah, that was that was the first um, when we first launched it. The, the first, first thing look. that we changed. Yeah. First look of Aventus. Then we, we we went with the black. It just it just looks a little bigger uh, and, and a little bit bolder. It's just sure. a little bit bolder. It's probably the better word, right? So it's a little bit more bolder because it's a kind of a macho fragrance. It's really an alpha male, Absolutely. in my opinion. So yeah, so people right away. That was the first change. Yeah, when they saw the change, that happened a couple of years ago, you know. Um, 
and also right at the, right at the point where Adventists started getting a worldwide recognition, and then you start seeing oh, some of these fakes come out. Right. So little by little, what a lot of guys don't know out there is that you know we, we do tweak something. We keep it internal. Correct. You know through lot numbers uh, or through through small details in, in the in the packaging. That way, when somebody tries to return one at one of the doors, the dice, it may not be 100% creepy but shot. Right. Yeah, so we have to know, we have to know. Sure. And so we have to, you know, just kind of stop that. But, uh, so that was the first change. And recently, um, I don't know, up on camera, you guys can see it, but then we switched over from this kind of uh, tall atomizer on the top here to a shorter, more um, wider, it's, it's a wider, and it's a wider stripe. Right. Creed logo on top. Yeah, it doesn't have the Creed logo on top. Now, um, the main reason for that is that, you know, a lot of people travel now. People travel a lot, you know? So one of the things, I mean, listen, you know, technology gets better sure. because problems arise sometimes. You know, whether, whether it's in tech or even you know, cars, you know, situations arise and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you, you build to solve that problem. Correct. So, you know, more people travel more than ever. This is not, I mean, listen, we all we offer the atomizers, which are perfect for traveling. If you want to travel, it's, it's shatterproof, it's leather, they look great, you're not going to have a problem. But this is not travel friendly. Right. You know, first of all, in a lot of airports, they're going to take it away from you. That looks yeah. higher than 100 ml. Exactly. It's over the limit. So it doesn't, it doesn't make it, it doesn't make it um, a good travel fragrance. So, um, but what happens, you know, people clumsy, people overpack their luggage, so occasionally, unfortunately, this, uh, this has been broken, yeah, a lot of people have broken this. So, that's not a giveaway to, right, from the evolution? It's always been white? Yeah, it's, it's always been white. Okay. Uh, we, we've seen them in, in like, the, the chrome ones, those are not real. Okay. Um, but, so, like, like I said, you know, some of these have, have snapped, and, you know, we kind of saw that, that that could be something that, you know, it's... Could be a problem, so we you know we are a luxury brand. We don't want yeah we, we don't want anybody to have any problem. We want you to use your bottle to the last drop. Absolutely, and you're totally happy with it. Totally empty. So changes occur to make the product better. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and, and that's that's another thing. You know, I'm sure you have a lot of fragrances at home. Absolutely, I'm sure. And I'm sure you'll never finish half of them. Awesome. <laughs> For about 400 bottles right now. Bro, that's a lot. a lot. You know, and a lot of us, you know, we have all these fragrances that we never finish. I know. But I have to tell you, Cree fragrances, they get empty. They get emptied a lot. And you know, and I, and I see here, we have a huge amount, like our percentage of repeat business is huge. And guys are getting a Ventus after a Ventus after a Ventus after a Ventus. I mean, now they're getting the half liters. You know, when people first come in here and we show them those giant bottles, they're like, oh my God, and they kind of laugh. Ho, 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 that's so much. I would never use that. But once they buy that first bottle, it's their, their bottle. second time for coming in, sure. they're like, oh my god, I mean, you were so right. Yeah. So, they, so they do get that bigger bottle. You know, it's not a sudden tactic. We actually show it to you because per ounce is much better. Much deal. better. Yeah. It's a much better deal. You know, you're getting four of these big bottles and one of the travel ones Can't be for, you know, price of two. So yeah, so the value is there. So that's for traveling. Uh, so we, we kind of made this change to really um, make it sturdier. And you know, really, uh, it's it's more of a solid. This will not break. You know, so I know uh, Mr. Creed and Irwin, they've been you know, they're always working on making the brand Trying better. Yeah. Better. So not not just uh, bringing the, the um, new collections and making the brand wider, but also how to what's what they're really yeah, how to conserve sure. and keep and keep the the you know the. Uh, they continue it. Absolutely. You know, we gotta continue what we have, the legacy, Absolutely. and just kind of make everything better. You know, so um, so that's that. No sense in making a new product to drop the ball once we're right there. Yeah, so, you know, you can't forget about the little guys. Sure, sure. You know, I know a lot of people say, hey, what happened to Himalaya? Himalaya's still here, guys. Absolutely. We sell Himalaya. It's, a great it's just that, you know, everybody calls asking about Aventis or every other street or Medicine Imperial. I mean, but uh, Himalaya does get played. I think uh, in, in the cooler months, you know, that's what we really sell. Gotcha. Yeah. So, uh, the third evolution, and this was kind of really quick. So, this from was... From here to here, it was like a year, from, right? Yeah, from here to year. Yeah. So, we've, we've done two changes to Aventus in about a year. So, now you'll see that you have almost a similar kind of um, pushing mechanism on the top, similar atomizer, 
this one's a little bit wider, but also the wraparound you, ring. You now. have yeah, you have a cover that covers the neck. It just looks a little bit more flush, a little bit more elegant. You know, it just it just it seems easier on the eye. Absolutely. I think aesthetically, more appealing. Yeah. yeah, aesthetically, it just looks like warm, and then also, you know, it looks masculine. It just it makes it look a little bit bolder. No, no, I, I like the way the cap just fits perfectly. Yes, yeah. you know. Just, Correct. You know, and you it have snaps that. In. Yeah, you have that snap. So you know, uh, again, it's like you know, when you know when you like get out of these one of these like high luxury cars and you close the door. Yeah, just, yeah this is a sound. Yeah. This is a sound when you close these doors. Like click. Yes. You know, so uh, it's it's kind of like that. You know, you have this nice uh, stay on the cap, Absolutely. but also without the cap, because a lot of people also like to see the cap. Yeah. It just looks nice. You know, and so even through these you know different changes, the atomizer has always been crazy, and then just what you come to expect, you create just beautiful, beautiful spray. Yeah, and I love this K O one. Oh, yeah, yeah. K O one is. Uh, I know that a lot of guys talk about the batches. We really don't follow batches like that here, because you know we we. We sell so much, sure. so and we see a lot of different ones come through. But yeah, the, the latest that we have, uh, fresh out of France, and into K1 is really very good. Nice. I'm very happy. It's very well balanced. I know we get a lot of people calling ah XO2, ZO1. Right, right, guys. No, forget that. <laughs> There's okay. a lot of good batches that are coming out. K1 is a perfect example. Of yeah, you know. Well, again, first of all, that was like four years ago. 2011, 2012. So yeah, so you know, those are history. You know, you can't get those. Yeah. Um, this is what we have now. Uh, don't really uh, worry about the lot so much. I know because a lot of people kind of read and they take they take that to the limit. I would follow your nose. Correct. Does that make sense? Absolutely. You know, so don't don't you know what read DNA. Yeah. I mean, you'll know if it's a fake. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and this is why this is why I, I love you having you know coming over here because you know it, we kind of educate people. And you know, and we, we love you guys. You guys this keep, is for you guys. Yeah. You yeah. guys can keep calling here and asking us about lots. You know, we will, but we will tell you. You know, I mean, we really don't follow that. And then you're good. Absolutely. Right. So, and that that will be our next topic. So, you know, let's talk about authorized reseller. So, in America, you know, of course, if you're if you're in the New York City vicinity, if you're in a tri-state, you know, we, we can, you know, we're accessible. Absolutely. You guys can definitely come in, and we're open seven days. Yeah. Um, we also have freeboutique.com. They're open 24 hours a day. Online. You know, online. Um, if you have, if you're a, a loyal to Neiman Marcus, then Neiman Marcus is the official retailer for the U.S. Okay. Okay. Then you know you have a handful of Saks. Excellent. And, yeah, Saks Fifth Avenue. You have Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom's. There are a few high-end boutiques that do carry pre. You know, um, like for example, uh, here in New York City, there's another place on the West Side. Uh, it's called Jeffrey. Jeffrey. So they they carry pre. They're definitely authentic. Uh, New London Pharmacy. They're definitely authentic. So you know we we do have pre in a few select points. They're not going to have the whole collection, but they have Most so well. yeah they have yeah. some They may not have all the sizes, sure. but then again you know if you just need pre in a hurry and you want to get a gift, Why then not? then you're you're good. You know otherwise you know you can always call us you know myself Rodney or Emerson and we're always at your service and to answer and any question you may have rather than you know. But some people like to self serve. Some right. people like to go into the store, they grab it off the shelf, you know, and then you're, then you're out. Yeah, yeah, but, you know. yeah, but if, if you want that, you know, if you want a small touch and more. Correct. You know, some people, you know, like like for me, if you want, when I buy something, I want to know the specs. Absolutely. You know, like, you know, I yeah. From Z, you know? Yeah, I want, I, want to know, I want to know stuff. You know, I'm always interested. So, um, you know, for me, I, li I like the service. So, you know, for me, and I'm, I work on Madison Avenue, I shop in some of the boutiques here with some of my other, like, peers in the area. And I love the service that you get from a boutique. Absolutely. You know, whether it's Chanel or Christian Louboutin or or Bell Staff, which is one of my favorite stores. You know, then you know you get in that personal attention. Um, so it does make a difference. Yeah, and and back to um, the authentic. Yeah. So you know that's a, that's another problem that is really really uh, it's become it's greater, greater and greater and greater, yes. and greater. Yeah. So you have all these websites. Who do you trust? Yes. You know. Again, if you have bought fragrances from a particular website and you have good luck, you could take a chance. But oh, like your nose is the test. You, it should it should smell like cream, right? No matter no matter what, if you get Imperial or one of the classics like Forty Eight Denevere or sure. Royal Oud or Rofa, or Rofa, Rofa, Rofa. Rofa. yeah, sure. it should have the cream. You know, you know right away. Um, and, and especially if you've worn it before. 
So you know if that bottle is legit or not. You know, but there are a few things I could tell you. Some pointers, yes. Yeah, I mean, we can't devour all the information that we can't, I can't give you the breakdown of the lot number shit. You know, that's something so more that's internal. internal stuff, yeah. Yeah, that's more internal for we'll us. give you some of this, the cosmetics. Of the yeah, thing. absolutely. So, you know, um, right away, so one of the things I would look for when you buy a Creek fragrance is definitely the gold crests. Uh, this is Green Irish Tweed, so it's in gold, but I'm going to grab here, this is Virgin Island, it's in silver, Silver Mountain is in silver, you know, so you, you want to make sure that, um, that it has a gold crest, and also it has all the paperwork inside, you should find um, a small card that has a couple pictures. Do you know who these people are? Sure. The founder, right? Alright. Is that Henry? James Henry Creed. Yes. And that's uh, Olivier. Olivier. Uh, Olivier now, uh, actually this was, let me rephrase that, this was uh, a picture that was taken when Olivier Creed made his first fragrance in 1975. What was that fragrance? It was Chevrofoy. Okay. Chevrofoy Original, yeah. It's, it's, it's a hard fragrance to find nowadays, it's, um, it's, it's not really in production. We do have a couple bottles here, but it's not something that you'll find in many places. We do have a test or encounter if you guys ever want to get you know, in the area. It's you want to occasion of the fragrance, just out of curiosity. Well, it's uh, it's more of a citrus fresh. Okay. I mean, it's, it's slightly floral because Chevrofoy is um, maybe like Neroli Sauvage or more floral. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, correct. Different. It's something between like what is a dry and Neroli Sauvage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys know those, that's that's what it is. So aside from um, the uh, authentication card that shows you um, our, our locations. Um, we have two in Paris, uh, now one in Dubai, one in Dubai and, and then of course, New York City, Madison, you know, top of the world. Yes, it is. That's it. And then you would find another little pamphlet, and here it just tells you a little bit about the company, uh, company history, and how we make our radio system of fusion. It comes in English, French, Italian, and Deutsch. So, you know, that's, that's something that um, gives you a, a secure feeling of authenticity. Correct. So look for those. You know, so if you're missing some of that, you know, kind of wonder. Just kind of wonder. I'm not telling you it's fake right away because, you know, sometimes we open things for customers. One can fall out. Correct. You know, so don't make that be your final decision. But the red flags. But it is, but it is a flag. Okay? So look for the color crest and the ring around in gold, the, the fragrance, in gold or silver, depending on which one. Yeah. Uh, green Irish Tweed is a really popular one. In the past, I have seen some that say Green Fridge Tweed. Fridge. So look at the eye, wow. guys. Look at the eye. Okay. It's a little, 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 little mark, but it's, it's a fridge, not Irish. So wow. it's, kind of, it's kind of funny. Now, one of the things that's a big red flag to me is this. Okay. What's the difference, guys? So you can see that the crown doesn't have the gold. any color at all. Yeah, yeah. There's no color. And there's, there's no color here. And then also, the pamphlet is in Arabic. That pamphlet is so in Arabic. Correct. So that's that's all. That's all you may find. Something like that to me, I would say. I would stay stay clear away. Away. Not that it's 100 percent fake. I mean, we, we did try to. Yeah. Just, not a lot. You can't guarantee. Yeah, you, I can't. Oh, yeah, correct. I mean, that's not labeled for the for the U.S. Correct. You know, uh, we don't ship these things by air. So how do they get here? You, you understand? But it so, is in production in other parts of the world, just like this. Just not it, in it, Yeah, correct. And, um, it's not labeled for America, so it's hard for me to authenticate it. It's impossible for me to authenticate it. Again, your nose would have to be the judge for that. Absolutely. You know, now, um, as we move forward in time, internet, oh. the internet is it's, it's a big marketplace. Saturated. You know, but yeah. all these discount websites. Yeah, yeah. but you know, you, you can't get batteries online. You can't get razor blades online. These things are fake. You can't I get know. fake. You know, there's, there's so much out there. It's insane. You know, there, there's some things you could buy, absolutely. But there's some things that I would not, personally. And even more, like going further on this fake stuff, like you, know, you said there's a website, maybe we don't want to say the name now, it's up to you, but you could buy how many bottles per 300 bucks? Oh yeah, um, yeah, correct. So that, that's correct. like the death. I, I showed you earlier, yeah. Yes. There, there's a website, you guys out there. Now don't call and ask me, because I'm not going to reveal that. That's right. But they're offering bottles of Creed Aventus four ounce for fifteen dollars a pop. Now, it's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, there is a minimum. You have to buy twenty of them. So that equals three. Yeah, but then they'll give you ten for free. Who's giving uh, that Creed for free? Come on. 
Come on, yeah. So 30 bottles for $300. That's not you how know, it's guys, you know, it's come right. on, please. Right. Please, don't I kid yourself. Sorry. If you see someone that's too good to be true, it's not me. Also, um, the Aventus spray deodorant. Oh yeah, this is something that I forgot to bring it, guys. But I'm gonna post it with the video, so it'll be like a segment after this video. So stay tuned for that. I'll show the whole bottle. Everything's gonna talk about it. I'll show the pointers on the actual bottle. Yeah. So I, I actually bought one from Amazon. Okay. So um, you know, and I was very very curious. You know, I, I one of my one of my friends called me and said, hey. Do you guys have this product? I'm like, no, we don't make a spray deodorant for Aventus. That's not something that, that it's never, we, been, it's never right. been made. You know, so he said, well, it's on Amazon. I'm like, what? So right away, I looked and I couldn't resist, so I ordered one. I had to. You know, guys, it's not real. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But, you know, um, the minute you get in your hand, uh, you, if you look carefully where it has creed or any kind of um, verbiage or logo, if you look carefully, there's a, there's a square that has that doesn't have the locus, you know, the, the whole box has logos all around. Correct. Right? So if, if you look at a half the spot, spot, yeah, they miss a few spots. You can see where they superimpose the image on that. We that's enough. Could so you never do that? No. And then also if you flip it to the back, the first ingredient is alcohol and it's a flammable uh, logo. Yeah, no. Our, our, our yeah, you know, our brand is very clean. Max, you know, it's very clean. Um, did you know that our alcohol is extracted from potatoes and beets? Well, I never knew that. It's super clean stuff. It's super clean. I'm not telling you if you can go drink it, but it's not going to harm you, you guys. You know, so, you know, so uh, our event... So you can drink a bottle of events? <laughs> well, <laughs> don't do that at home. <laughs> Read about it. Read below. It smells good. It tastes good, guys. Especially yeah. the pineapple batch one. <laughs> yeah. So the Creed Aventus deodorant that's on him now. No, the, the one that we have now. It's a stick deodorant. It has no alcohol. Sure. And it has. Yep. I'll show you guys. So it has no alcohol and it has no aluminum. You know, um, again, it's very clean. You're not gonna get any any uh, irritation. No rashes. It's super mild. It smells amazing. So um, the this packaging, is, guys, the packaging is perfect. for Aventus. That's all you can get for real. Yeah. Now, anything else you see out there? You know, sprayers, no good. Packaging is perfect. The box quality is perfect. You know, we wouldn't put a, a product on the market That's if so it wasn't hard. up to par right. to the existing collection. Correct. You know, uh, Mr. Creed and, and, and the rest of his family. Um, they, they really work hard to make sure that this aesthetically is visually appealing, it's appealing to the hand, it's appealing to the eye, appealing to the nose, appealing to your peers, and that's really, um, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very complete uh, process when, when it comes to the aesthetic okay. of, of the brand. So, um, so back to that spray deodorant, it's, it does, it's not something that Creed makes, um, so your mother welcome to buy it, but it's not real. It smells good too, guys. But yeah, it's not it real. It smells good. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. It smells close to a vent. Right. It doesn't last long. When you first put it on, but the scent uh, it goes away. Uh, I did it not try it underneath my arms. You know, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like to try stuff like that. But I did try it on my hand. I didn't get no irritation. But the thing is, you know, when it comes to products like this, it's, they have not been tested. Correct. Through like the IFRA or the FDA, so you, you the can, whole process that a pre product goes through that absolutely no 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 just manufacture and, and try to sell correct yeah. so you know you really don't want to be spreading this stuff around in your body who knows what's inside correct you know so fragrances that have not been tested they just you know stay away you guys away. just any product yeah any, lip balm whatever you it is you don't want to take the chances yeah so um, but but I will tell you this I I did like. Um, the size of the container is 200, right? 200 ml. Nice. It fits nice. I know. The actual con bottle itself it looked pretty good. Yeah. It looked pretty good to where it kind of fooled me. But I mean, once I saw the box, I already knew. But when I saw the pack, like wow. the bottle itself was nice. Right? Good job on the bottle. Good job on the scent. It's okay, but no lasting power. I don't know how it works on the arms. I just didn't right. try it. I wasn't going to. Uh, but uh, I will stay away. Absolutely. So. Yes. These kind of crazy products, before you guys go out and buy from these sites, do your due diligence. Call him, you know, you're welcome to leave messages and I'll, I'll try to get in touch with them if you guys can get in touch with him if he's busy or something, you know. We'll try to get back to you right away. Call us. We're always at your service, you guys. Myself, Rodney, Emerson, you know, this, 
there's not a crazy question, there's not a dumb question, yeah. you know, uh, especially you guys who are just getting into Creed, you know, um, you, know you get the fever yeah. and you, you want to you collect. And you want to have them all and sometimes you want to spend very little money. Yeah, yeah. but you got to be careful. Slow down. Yeah. Fall in love with your initial scent on the road, on the road of Absolutely. Creed. Absolutely. It's a long road. It's a long road, but there's a few must-haves. I know. There's a few, you know. Few, and I, anyone should have in their collection. Yeah, like these two for sure. Green Iron Street. These two for sure. Original yeah. Original Bedroom. Original Bedroom. Original, original Santal. Pure White Cologne. Cologne. Silver Mountain. Silver Mountain. Wood. Silver Mountain. Oh, original sure. Santal. Royal Wood. Pure I mean, White Cologne, guys. Springs around the corner. Let's talk about that for a little Yeah. Bit. Pure White Cologne. That's amazing, guys. First of all, Louis loves that scent. I do love the spirits, you know what I mean? First of all, when you put this on your dresser next to all these other bottles, I mean, guys, this is an, another level. I mean, all the press. Yeah, this is hand blown uh, from a company. Um, actually, it's the oldest bottle company in the world. Wow. They're, they're called uh, Pochet, that's the name of the, of the house. And they're in France. Uh, yeah, they, they've been making um, bottles since the medieval times. So wow. they're, they're very, very old, and they are the ones who make all of our bottles, actually. Nice. So all the bottles, we don't make bottles, they come from Pochette. So they work really closely with Olivier on designing, and that's how uh, these are created. But Pure White Cologne is a true, this is a gentleman's fragrance. It's amazing. You know, I don't, uh, it's, it's great for every day, but you know, it's... That's a signature scent. Yeah, Dude. this is signature. I mean, this is... It's appealing. This is a, it's a smart fragrance. It's yes. just a, it's not too much. It's not too light. Perfectly blended. It's control. Yes. You know, you know, um, you have people who um, who just they, all, they 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 appear like they have it all together. That's the fragrance. Absolutely. You know, okay. It's just effortless. It is effortless elegance. Anytime you put that on, it's yeah. fantastic. Effortless elegance. It's, it's pure white cologne. I agree. And also Jordan and Murphy. It is very. Murphy. It's oh. Elegance in the summer. Yes. You know, I like this in the spring, Jardin and Malfi in yeah, the summer. Absolutely. The spice and wood in the fall. Yeah. 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 You know, Virgin Island is great, but Virgin Island is more of a casual in my opinion. Is. You know, you can do a rooftop party in the summer, absolutely. Virgin Island, that's great. White t-shirt, the best shorts. You can go like a wedding in the summertime. Yes. Or, you know, it's just yeah. Jardin and Malfi, you can be dressy, you can be casual, you can be smart casual. You know, you Absolutely. can go, you can get a cruise. <laughs> all, all those upper fences. Absolutely, you can be in a resort. Jordan Amalfi is like it's a great fragrance to kind of um, to take away and just kind of forget about everybody. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a great. That's a great. So um, so hey guys, you know, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys uh, being a part of the Empire Sensations. And uh, you know, any questions you have, drop your comments down below, and I'll have more for you guys soon. Thank you so much, Louis, for my man, having me. Always a pleasure. It. Good All right, Fred Com, this is Max Forte. As promised, I'm going to give you guys um, the specs on the fake Creed Aventus deodorant. So, first of all, Creed does not have a deodorant that is vaporizer or spray. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, Creed does not have anything that is wrapped in cellophane. So if you see anything out in the market that's being sold in cellophane, it is a fake. Okay, number three, if you see the flammable uh, sign here in the back, it's also a fake because all Creed products are made, as you saw in the video, with uh, an alcohol that's based and derived from potatoes and beets, so it's non-flammable. So that's a big no-no. Also, when you get here in the back of the ingredients, the number one ingredient here is alcohol, so that's a no-no, okay? And the other thing is also, you know, like we talked about, nothing has serene wrap, so that's a big no-no. And if you see here, all the Creed logos are very well made, the crests, but as you see here, it misses a spot where you have the lettering, you see that there's no logos, so that's a big no-no, as well as on the actual front here, some of these logos are cut in half, so that's a big no-no. So as we open this, get to the bottle. Actually, not horribly made, but um, definitely a fake because Creed does not make a vaporizer deodorant. So this is a, a 6.7, um, and this is the sprayer. Okay, I'm gonna just spray a little bit on my hand. Doesn't smell half bad, but 
It's definitely not Aventus. You have the uh, Creed Crest, and this was the the full presentation of there was a what appears to be a batch code here. But yeah, guys, this is a fake, okay? Uh, the fact that it has alcohol as a major ingredient, um, it has the flammable. So you look at these uh, couple spacks here when you buy a Creed product, and you'll know that it's not a real Creed. So this is pretty much just to let you guys know that Creed does not carry vaporizer deodorants, uh, spray deodorants. All that they have is the stick deodorant that you see at the Creed boutiques and, you know, Neiman Marcus and all the uh, high-end stores. So yeah, this was just uh, to give you guys a little bit on brand, and if you guys want to see more, I will be shooting a part two and perhaps a part three. So if you have any questions whatsoever regarding Creed, uh, Creed products, Creed fragrances, the history of Creed, whatever, you know, anything and everything regarding Creed, please drop your comment down below. You can also email me at max40 at gmail.com. It's M-A-X-F-O-R-T-I at gmail.com. It's also going to be at the description box. Feel free to drop me down some comments or email me, and I will be doing a part two uh, with Louis Cavallo at the Creed Boutique in New York City of this Creed 101 slash Evolution of Aventus. And so the next parts will be probably talking about different fragrances and different uh, specs of the Creed um, world. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. I will talk to you guys soon.